is Alexandria. I am the care girl. I'm here in Alpharetta today with Dr. Sarah Druckman. She is the stress-free doctor. No, stress-less doctor. Stress right? less doctor. I gotta get it right. I gotta get it right. Get it right. Where are we? Where are we right now? We're at the Alpharetta Wellness Collective. Yes, we are. And it's the stress-less doctor. And she is the stress-less <laughs> doctor. Okay. All right. I met I met Dr. Druckman at one of a close uh, colleague, colleagues of mine, uh, baby shower, and we were having a good conversation. We really hit it off <laughs> about about some good things that reduce stress. So, what 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 are the top three things uh, that your company offers uh, that will help people with stress? Less, I would say. So, I'm a chiropractor by trade. Um, within this business here, we have three massage therapists, a holistic esthetician three chiropractors, and we also have something called the Zen Den, it's up downstairs on the terrace level, where we do workshops and events. Um, so I would say the top three things that we offer here to reduce stress, massage and chiropractic, right? Uh -huh. And the faith, like our services, the services, let's just say the services in general, because they're all mind, body, spirit, and help with the um, relaxing the nervous system. Yeah. Um, we offer breath work. I think breath work is one of the easiest, cheapest. It's free. You don't have to pay anyone to breathe. You can learn breath work exercises that you can do at your home every day. When you're in a stressful situation, you know, tapping into your breath is one of the most powerful things that you can do to regulate your nervous system. And then, I would even have to say supplements. So, so okay. yeah, we're getting into um, functional medicine and lab testing again. And we offer a lot of times when you've been under chronic stress, there is your your HPA access. I'm not going to get into like super details, but your brain and your body just aren't they're burnt out and they aren't working well. So with the functional medicine and supplementation. We can really help to support the body on a chemical and physiological level as well to balance out the effects of stress and help your body to handle stress better. Yeah, yeah. The place is amazing, Thank first you. of all. And, and I, I feel relaxed, not just from the tea, but just from, the, I think, the crystal, the energy is good, the team is, is high energy, and it's beautiful. So you all have to definitely come and check everything out. It's just you you've put a lot of heart into, into this. And you have you have been here two years, right? Yeah, we've been here two years now and um, this you gotta come check it out today. This sun porch that we're at was the selling point for me when I looked at this space because I'm a plant person and I'm like has a greenhouse. <laughs> How can you keep these plants alive? That's my question because I'm not a good plant person at all. I've got Milda who works here as one of our massage therapists. So she fired me from caring for the plants. Although I'm very good for, I'm very good at caring for the plants, but Milda took over and then Dr. Ricardo, he's the plant daddy. So we plant <laughs> plant mama, plant daddy, and you just you're just a step you're just a step child. I still play with the plants, okay? Like, don't tell Milda, but these are my babies. I each and every one of these plants out here started with me so i do i do take care of that on the dl <laughs> on the dl on the dl because because don't even ask me to water anything it's going to be over water and everything that's the number one mistake you can make is over watering a plant and apparently i was doing a little over watering i was over loving my plants um but it's funny we're talking about plants because they, I don't know if you, there's a meme out there <laughs> it's where I get most of my education. No, I'm just okay, me too. Yeah. Well, I'm just meme real quick. And what does it say? We're we're basically house plants with complicated emotions. So <laughs> this is true. It's true. Yeah. So yeah. you need water. You need good, clean, fresh water. You need nutrients, and you need sunlight. And mm, we are plants. We are plants. Yes, my hair is like a plant. It <laughs> just goes out. Mine does too. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it's 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 it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Tell us how you got on this journey and, and what made you actually create something like this that's that's bigger than yourself that can help other people. Like, were you, were you always into wellness? Did you have an event in your life that brought you to going to get educated um, as a chiropractor? Like, 
Just a little bit in a nutshell. Yeah, so I actually studied fashion design. That was my undergraduate. Ooh. I was going to be a biology major, and at 17 years of age, when I started college, one of my friends was doing fashion, and I was like, that sounds fun, and I've always loved, I've always loved science and art. And yeah. so at that age, I went the art route. I was, I was going to do science, and I wanted to be a field biologist. I wanted to, you know, get a PhD and work outside and study something in the jungle. Um, so I did fashion. I had a clothing line, and we hosted big events and uh, fashion shows. And really, I feel like my creativity from that, from being a designer goes into spaces and interiors. I like setting spaces. Yeah. Um, I. Throughout my whole life, I've had really bad allergies and eczema, and as a kid, I'd get hives, I was always congested, I was, became a vegetarian in high school at one point, and in my 20s, I was living kind of wild, doing fashion in Detroit, and my eczema got really, really, really bad, and I, I just, I, I reached a point in that field where I was totally, I was like miserable, I was unfulfilled and not happy with it, and it was a turning point where I could either continue that path or totally switch gears. Um, and backing up a little bit, even when I was like 18, 19 years old, I did the master cleanse, I think from the first big cleanses I did, I was doing juice cleanses, so I was really into health and nutrition, and I was trying to heal my eczema, and I'm vain. To an extent, right? Like nobody wants to have a rash and feel like crap. I went gluten free. I was about 25. I'm 41 now. I've been gluten free for a good 15 years. Um, so I've I've really ex my dad's been gluten free for 20 some years. So uh, it, it my own health struggles really led me to where I am now. And I went back to school. I started chiropractic school at 30. So I, I did a lot of research on what profession and what career I could do that would support my health and others. I, I realized, like, through doing fashion, it really didn't, wasn't that meaningful to me, and I wanted to do something that helped others. So, yeah. you know, with my own knowledge and education and journey supporting my own health, that's where I decided to become a chiropractor. I love it. I love it. And my goal was always to have a wellness center. I never wanted to just do chiropractic. I love chiropractic, but I really went into the profession. I, I'd done all raw foods at one point. Um, I did a big event with David Wolf. Um, so I wanted something that was all, a little fringier, you know, a little cutting edge that, that explored wellness as a, as a big picture. Um, we do biohacking here. We got what is bio? We got to so biohacking. Tell me what that is. It's basically optimizing your biology. Oh um, wow! So we have Wim Hof. So it's 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 like a subset. You can look it up. Like a big guy who's known with that is Wim Hof. He does a breath work technique with cold water immersion. So once a month we have a workshop here with um, a Wim Hof facilitator, and everyone gets in a horse trough full of ice water in the end. Oh my um, goodness. Mm -hmm. wow. So cold therapy is considered biohacking, red light therapy, PEMF, um, you know, there's all sorts of, what, what is the aura ring everyone wears now that tracks their sleep, um, or, like there's all sorts of tools and, and things out there that optimize and hack health. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all about hacking. Uh, health, self-improvement, mm -hmm. productivity um, as an entrepreneur, and the gluten-free thing. Um, I had um, I had a baby boy. His mm -hmm. name is Frederick, and he's seven now. Mm -hmm. But he was sick all the time, so and he has eczema too. So we did the gluten-free. I took him to a uh, naturopath, yeah, and we did like allergy tests. He was allergic to like tea. He was allergic to like asparagus. He was allergic to so many different things, including gluten. Um, but the doctor was kept saying, oh, nothing's wrong with him. This is normal. He can have a cold from daycare. And I was like, no, it, 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 it's, it's, he's just constantly clogged up. So he eventually had to get the tonsils out. Oh, yeah. Ear tubes. And then also a change of diet because the gut was that he, he definitely, my belly always, he always oh, had yeah. stomach, uh, always had the belly pain. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that a lot of the, the stuff that we're eating and, and, you know, in 
ingesting even the air, even the water that goes onto our skin, we should start being a little bit more conscious. And, and you know, come to places like this to kind of, you know, like the body packing, the massage, uh, Cairo, all that stuff is is wellness. Like, it, it should be wellness from the inside out. Exactly. Um, versus, you know, you're just trying to go to the doctor and get a uh, medication. Because some things you, you definitely have to see a professional for as far as medical wise because exactly. you, know, you may have ailments but there are still natural elements you know like somebody with diabetes uh you know yeah you may have to do insulin but there are other in interventions as well that could offset the diabetes so i think that it should be more of a holistic approach uh versus uh you know i guess what is it Western medicine? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Well, they look at um, like functional medicine, the functional okay. medicine approach. Um, the difference between that and a traditional medical medicine medical doctor is it, we look at the root cause, not just the symptoms. So, a very very common um, image that you see for functional medicine is a like a glacier, an iceberg, right? And people only see the symptoms, which would be the top of that iceberg. You only see the tippy top, but no one sees what's underneath it, which is a huge foundation under the water. So most people just look at the top and they see rashes, stomach pain, diabetes, thyroid. They see the top portion and the symptoms and they prescribe medicine to address the symptoms, but they never look underneath all that to like lifestyle, stress, diet, you know, exercise, mental health. They don't look at the big, big picture of the person below that to say, why are the cells dysfunctional and why is this person expressing these symptoms rather than expressing health? Um, so that's really what, you know, what we look at. Even my, my, we have a holistic esthetician. When someone comes in with acne or like skin conditions, most skin conditions come from the gut and an unhealthy gut. So she'll speak with her clients about, and the hormones. So she'll speak with clients about, you know, the gut and hormones. And if we need to run labs on those clients, we can run labs. So we can treat, 100%, I get a facial once a month. I love facials, yeah. right? But like, how do we, if you're having, like I get some hormonal acne, I'm working on my hormones right now, right? So it's really looking at the big picture of, of what is causing the symptoms and what's causing the state of disease. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a collective of things. I, I know I have eczema, but it, it's, it's when I'm stressed out, it's more, I oh, see yeah. it more mm -hmm. than anything. And then now I get, you know, I get facials and things of that nature, but it, it, I have to internally say, okay, when do I have it most? It's kind of like taking a diary of like that symptom and what's happening, what's going on, because then you can come back to someone like you and say, hey, I noticed around this time, this is when, yeah. you know, this is happening. You know, some, some women have, you know, on their cycle, they may have like the acne or exactly. stuff like that. I just know I had a lot of dryness going on and I, I researched, oh, I'm eating foods that, you know, like uh, citrus, like, when you have eczema, mm -hmm. eczema, you're not supposed to do citrus, uh, too, many, too much citrus. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking oranges, oh, I need the vitamin C with the oranges <laughs> and, and all of that, you know? But it's like you you have to understand and research like any condition that you have or what's going on and also the environment, like eczema, that hot water. Like, I love hot water. Me too. Oh my God, <laughs> I love hot water, but oh, that could flur up your eczema. Exactly. So, exactly. so I think just having, you know, the professionals and also just starting to, to have the approach of being more, more holistic or whatever, mm -hmm. even using the products you're using your own. I mean, I started making some um, essential oil, like oh, yeah. lavender spray, and it smells way better than bleach, you know? I mean, we like we like bleach, but... Products are one of the... <laughs> <laughs> that's, you, that's one of the things that you... Man, chem I've been chemical, chemical sensitive since I was a kid. Like, if you... Even to this day, like I was dating this guy and you know, you start staying over there and spending time at their house when you're dating yeah, someone. Yeah. And he was using dryer sheets on his sheets. And I am so sensitive to dryer sheets and chemicals and fragrances that I broke out from sleeping in those sheets. So like, you know, I, I used to be like, I used to look at like late plugins and those are the worst <laughs> ever. They're the biggest hormone disruptors. It's, mm. So, 
like you get tons of bad estrogen in your body from them, which can cause cancer and oh my bad goodness. menopause and all sorts of issues, weight gain. Um, from from putting hands. Oh, like just fragrance in general. Like women, I can't remember the number. Someone I recently I was at a, a workshop this weekend and someone said it's up to like three hundred and something. On average, the average woman puts over three hundred chemicals on her body a day, and. We're, okay, think of ourselves as plants, right? We're a plant here. If you put 300 chemicals on your plants, it's probably gonna die. Like it's, we're not meant, our liver has to detox every single thing, whether it's a supplement or a food or alcohol or chemicals, every single thing out of the body. So if you're putting 300 and something chemicals on your body a day, like 80% of what you put on your skin gets absorbed in your body. So we're absorbing all that shit. <laughs> oh my, so it's, it goes right into the system and then we're, we're, we're having Through the to... lungs, through the skin, I mean... So, the, basically don't put that down. <laughs> I, I use essential oils, I, exactly, don't use anything. But well, Lisa, Lisa, our esthetician, her products, which I use, they have, um, they're full of nutrients. Like she has this sunblock that's full of medicinal mushrooms that I use. So it's it's actually full of things that fight cancer and support your cells and support your body rather than covering yourself in chemicals that may be causing cancer. So mm. you know, there's definitely are things that you can put on your on your body that are that are actually nourishing it and healthy rather than depleting it and toxic. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that. I love that because, you, like I said, if you don't know, you just you're redundant to the information. But when you know, it's like you now look at the ingredients. Like when you're looking at the the um the foods and everything, look at the packaging. Look exactly. at the packaging on your your skincare products and, exactly. and and all of that. And then don't just randomly go to you know some ten dollar place or you ten dollar facial. You know you, you you it takes money to. It, it does take money for for you to come to you know a place like this, mm -hmm. but investing the best investment I've made this year is in myself. Mm -hmm. I, I I got a membership at um, Yonder Yoga. Oh, nice. So um, and I didn't know it was such it was such a great workout. Of course, they they heat the degrees of the room to ninety degrees, oh, yeah. sixty to ninety degrees. No, not sixty, but seventy to ninety degrees. Um, and and I think maybe within. Eight yoga classes, I made me lost like 12 pounds. I love hot yoga. I've always, like, I love being hot and hot yoga. I've never been more, you know, I I, I, I have a Peloton. And I, I've been doing some, like, CrossFit-style workouts a little bit. But when I was doing hot yoga consistently, like, I was never fitter. But for my body, it just eats that up. That's, and, and that's for my energy. So, yeah. so I love to look good. Definitely, hundred percent. I have three sons. <laughs> I have three kids. So, Don't look like it. thank you. <laughs> but I mean, that's that's hot. That's hacking, right? Exactly. That's, that's, and, it, and it reverses age. It does do that. But it, it, it was such a like I would never sweat as much. And I did a gym workout uh, in between. Like one day, I did a gym workout. I was like, I'm not gonna do high yoga today. My energy was okay. Yeah. But the, when I did the yoga in the morning, that 60 minutes of high yoga there, and all day I had energy. Well, what I love about yoga, and I'm a yoga teacher, I got certified, is um, I love the mind mindfulness aspect of it and the message. You know, a good teacher always has a good message throughout the class and the breathing. Um, you know, when you're working out, no one's like, you're not focused on your breathing, but yoga is considered a, a moving meditation, right? Yes. So you're, you're breathing. You're using that energy and using the, the asana, the yoga practice, to reach like more of a state of enlightenment, right? So it's yep. a great workout, and you're gonna sweat, and you're gonna get abs, your butt's gonna look good, your arms, and it's gonna tone you up. But like, I love, love, love the mental aspect of it as well. And the fact, you no, know, when else during the day are you supposed to focus on your breathing for an hour? Like, yeah, never. Yeah. But it's, 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 a, it's a hack, like like you oh, said, yeah. it's a hack. I did. I mean, I switched my coffee to like uh, I did like a lion's mane. Oh yeah, room. yeah. I, I mean, it's, I still do coffee, so I kind of switched that, and it's just like my energy just went crazy. But that's a huge thing. Is um, I love medicinal mushrooms. I've been a fan of them forever, and the company Four Sigmatics now you can buy pre-blended coffee mushroom blends or at Whole Foods I get it's called Ohm it's like the master blend and I think it's got 10 different medicinal mushrooms in one. Oh, okay. Yeah I like I like that a lot it's got 10 mushrooms so it covers like all the spectrums um, but 
in general, I'm not drinking coffee right now. I'm kind of on a hiatus. I've been drinking matcha green tea because my adrenals are really fried. Yeah, I, you did. A, did you do a test and it showed? I've done a lot of labs on myself. Yeah, I, I, I knew it, but I didn't. I knew it, but now so I coffee, really know it. Coffee does it for the adrenals. Coffee or? really stresses your adrenal glands, and if your adrenals are already stressed, it's just adding to that. Um, but that said, if you add some of the medicinal mushrooms to the coffee, it helps to balance. Those mushrooms can help to balance out some of the effects of coffee that aren't so good for you. Coffee's not necessarily like bad for you per se. It helps support the liver, and um, that's the biggest thing. It really helps your liver. Um, but, you know, I was in a bad habit, and I think a lot of people are, where you wake up and you have coffee, and you might have more coffee, and, yeah. and you, drink, you don't drink enough water, and you don't eat enough, you're not, you're just, like, I was drinking way too much coffee. And most people drink, don't just drink black coffee, which isn't so bad for you, but they're drinking Starbucks or a latte and putting all the sugar and all the other stuff in there. Um, but... Definitely by adding those mushrooms, you know, you're you're hacking it. I would also add collagen to my coffee, like mm -hmm. collagen mm -hmm. creamer. Um, so, so at least you're getting a little bit of protein, you're getting some good stuff for your cells. Wherever you can sneak in some good things for your body, I definitely try to sneak them in. Yeah, yeah, and I and like that, that, that whole coffee, that's why I switch, you know, from regular to yeah. that, and then, you know, coffee kind of like, you got your teeth white, it's, it's a lot of different aspects. Yeah. Of, for me, I'm one, I want to switch bad habits, which I'm not going to say that's a bad habit, but like you said, too much of that. Yeah. You know, what would you say about uh, alcohol consumption? Well, that's, that's a, a big that's a big thing. That's so. another thing I'm low on. I mean, I, I've cut way down on, um, I like I like wine. I like red wine with dinner. And, yeah. um, you know, a lot of people reach for a drink at the end of the night in order to relax and in order to decompress because that's what that's what people do right they get off and they're like oh i'm gonna wind down and have alcohol alcohol does not wind you down really at all and it stresses your body mm. and and it, it can throw off your hormones and you're gonna your liver is gonna be detoxing it and it's dehydrating i mean there's really there's really no benefit for your body in drinking alcohol per se okay i take it back my <laughs> mind has this veritrol which is like an antioxidant all okay. right but um uh, it, Other than that, it just kind of it kind of drains you, dries you out a little bit. It does. Uh, and I'm touching on this because this is something that you know I go to a lot of mixers and yeah. different events, and and I you know I, and I see some people they might drop something in there like they may have like a little something that like makes the alcohol safer. I don't know what it, what is that oh like a sulfate or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. do have that now. One of my friends gave me one. It's the stick, and you yeah. stir the wine with it, and it gets rid of the sulfates. Yeah. What I mean, what else? What other so they, now they, there's a couple cool companies, and I've tried a, a couple of them. But there are, there are. So the reason why we drink alcohol is to relax, typically, right? Oh, and to be social. It's like the only drug or that's some socially. Some people want to get wasted. Some people, or, yeah. get wasted. <laughs> some people want to get wasted. We're gonna, we're gonna leave that out there. Sometimes you go out there on a mission, right? You're like, I'm done with the, this week. But um, there are some cool companies out there that do like adaptogenic mocktail blends. So, and I've tried some of those. So I'm a big fan of adaptogenic herbs and I'm, are you familiar with adaptogens? No. So adaptogens are like a whole category of superfoods. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just got a new book on it by the guy who created Four Sigmatic, that coffee brand with the medicinal mushrooms. I've loved adaptogens and I've taken them forever. So adaptogens, some of the common ones are ashwagandha, tulsi, uh, holy basil, rhodiola, lion's mane, reishi mushroom, uh, even, no, cacao is not. But so adaptogenic herbs, they help your body to cope with stress. Basically, they teach you how to do better with stress. But the cool thing about them is sometimes they can increase like the adrenal response and sometimes they deplete it. Mm -hmm. But depending on what your body, like your body's um, response to stress, but they, they have an innate intelligence that if your body needs more, it will use it to produce more. And if your body needs less, we'll use it to calm it down. So no matter, mm -hmm. you and I can take the same, we could both take holy basil and your body, in your body, it might amp up your system, and in my body, it might calm down my system. So, it's a really cool 
category of, of herbs that can, yeah. or, and plants that can go either way within yeah. their own body, how it uses it, how it needs it to be used. Do y'all use the um, use the oxygen therapy, oxygen therapy too? We yeah. do have oxygen therapy okay. here. And then one other thing I didn't mention is, and this is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite health tools that we, I've used forever, is uh, infrared sauna. Yeah. And we have an infrared sauna with a red light panel in it now. We added the red light. So when you sit in the sauna, you're getting the benefit of both of those. Yeah. I actually, sure. there was a really cool company and I'm, I'm an ambassador and, and sell their products. They have this, it's called Therasage, and they have a sauna, a portable infrared sauna, and it's really affordable. Um, I, need, I need that information. Mm -hmm. I, I know we should put a link when we yes. uh, do this, when we put this live. I, that thing is, the, I have a sauna here at the office. I've loved sauna for years and years. It's like the best thing for detoxing your body. It also helps you reduce stress. Um, red light therapy is excellent for your skin and it also supports your mitochondria which are your energy units of your cell. So anyone with like autoimmune issues, typically always if you have autoimmune, your, your mitochondria aren't functioning at 100%. Yeah. So I love this sauna with the red light because you're, you're killing two birds with one stone and you, you sweat a ton. Your, so you're cleansing your skin, you're cleansing your body, you're cleansing your liver, and you're also stimulating your mitochondria and your cells and healing your skin while you're in it as well, mm -hmm. and your cells. Um, How often do you do you get in that? I've been using it every day, pretty much. Um, I I do 20, 30 minutes. I lo I've loved saunas. I've always loved saunas. And um, they just come here and get yours, or yeah, you know, or totally. use the link um, for totally. that. I I had a membership at Sweat House for a yeah. while, and um and I got into that, and literally during that whole like week COVID, yeah. I never got sick. I yeah. never if if I felt sick, I'm like, oh let me go to the sauna. I'm gonna sweat this out. <laughs> I'm gonna sweat this out. You know, exactly. I'm like like you said, you have to figure out a way versus like, and I think it's a mental thing as well. Can you speak a little bit about what do you see mentally like? Do people have blockages in their mind? Like, I'm sick. Like, you know, like, what do you see with, with, with you work with most women? We, I work with everyone. With really. everyone. Yeah. Um, what, what is the main thing you, you would say causes stress for a lot of people? I just, I think we live in a very stressful time right now in general, right? Like, the economy and the government and we just came out of a pandemic and stress is caused by the unknown a lot of times and there's been so much unknown um kids you know yeah, yeah, yeah. for women it's 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 raising a family keeping their husband healthy having a career it's like women have are, are become everything to everyone it seems you know like <laughs> i'm not i i, I can't yeah, I mean, no, I get, I, I, I've been there, yeah. So I, I agree, I agree with you on that. Um, and our, like, our last conversation, we gotta, we gotta end with this. I know you got a patient. Uh, we were, we, she, you put me onto a, a podcast uh, about uh, orgasms, and uh, <laughs> I think that that's definitely a part of, you know. Uh, of, of that stress relief too in a healthy way in a healthy way just just it can be a self-orgasm yeah you know, see with yes partner. yeah the, oh, they, oh, she said it. she she said it. but that's but it's just different ways to relieve the stress i think the main thing is cutting the cancer cutting out those bad habits that could cause you to be so tired those bad habits uh even even leaving a job when i left the hospital uh 2021 i, I didn't look back i already had my home health company um, and I was like, whatever happens, happens. I down, I downgraded my whole entire lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I was, and I loved it. I was home with my kids. Mm -hmm. um, me, me take me, me totally. It, they just really helped me, like, just figure out, like, oh wow, like, there's life outside of like working like crazy. Yeah, you know, there's life outside of like worrying about how to do this and how to do that. So really, just kind of like, what makes you happy? You know, what make what makes make uh, what makes you happy? What makes you whole? Cause, cause your lifestyle might be like you like riding horses, you love nature, you love plants. That's your happy space. People, people, some people don't know what their happy space is because they they surrounded themselves with just you know working. You, you know, I'm working to live. Like I, I don't want to be. Of course, we all work. You know, to maintain. I feel guilty of it. Building, building this business, I, I, I wasn't riding horses for years, but I was working. I, I adjust horses. I was working with everyone's horses. 
and I'm like, I don't even have the time to ride a horse on my own, you know, at, at least I was around them, but it's not the same. Um, and, and I lost, I was just, I, I was way overworking, right? But it got me to where I am now, and I have a good team and staff, and I can step back a little and, you know, work on other projects, work on myself. I've been putting Ooh, a lot into yeah. myself this year, and then I, I depleted myself, like, for real. And it happens, and, you know, even with all the knowledge I have, I'm in, I'm in health and wellness, and sometimes you sacrifice and forget you know, you get into bad habits and, you've, and you and you have to take a step back or something in life will force you to take a step back and then you can reevaluate. Um, which personally, I, I went through something that really I had to like, okay, what's working and what's not working? Yeah. Um, I think one, and we can add a link, like there's some really good, um, a lot of people I think don't know what necessarily causes them the most joy. A lot of times it comes from like childhood and you know, maybe hobbies you had then, or when you had more freedom and, and you weren't so confined to, you know, day-to-day -day living. Um, but just getting quiet and spending that time to, to write, journaling in the morning, breathing, meditating, and it doesn't have to be... An hour, two hours. <laughs> I know, I know. People think it has to be this crazy thing. We're actually gonna start this 30-day challenge in January okay. through the office. And it's $275, it's, so it's, it's very affordable. It can be drop shipped anywhere. It's going to have um, uh, liver kidney detox support products. And then also Dr. Courtney and I are doing this together. It's going to have um, a Facebook support group and journal prompts and videos on breath work and all sorts of things. So and we're gonna be launching three month programs also. So we're really gonna be helping people to sit down and get clear on, on what their health and what makes them happy yeah. and creating their dream life. Like that's really, I'm a life coach, I did a program last year, so that's really what the direction I'm moving into is is supporting, taking everything I've learned, right? All of it, because I can only see so many people Someone in Alabama, enemies. Georgia, hands on, and taking all of those elements and, and putting them in a program that anyone can access. I love that. I love that. Um, I'm a creative at heart. I was, yeah. Um, I, my former life, past life, which I still am a little bit of, <laughs> singer, songwriter, dancer. Oh yeah. Um, hence awesome. the hence the uh, pivot to the podcast. Uh, and it was a long, a long time ago. I wanted to be a journalist. So yeah, so me too. now. <laughs> so that, and it's crazy. It's crazy. So it's like it, it took a circle. And um, I, 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 I now I still do dance classes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've gotten back into like strumming my guitar. Um, and, and those things make me happy. You know, yes, I still go out there and, you know, do my business and things of that nature to provide, but I take care of people for a living. My name, Alexandria, means help of me. Ah, so I, I'm walking okay. in a lot of purpose, um, but then something that now for me, since I've been so much on a path of like following my truth, which you know what that means, and some people yeah. don't know what that means, anything that, that's not a hell yes to me is a fuck no. Yep. Amen. Like, it, it, I mean, it, it, I mean, it's to the point where somebody can call me. I say no. Yeah. And I'm a former yes person, so me just automatically like my my body is speaking for me now. It's like, hey, no, that's that's the time that you're going to go. But that's no, no. And, and, and I had somebody ask me why the other day. I said, I said, I said what I said. Yeah. You know, and, and we have to be selfish. Well, in, it is it's boundaries. Point. It's boundaries mm -hmm. too, right? And and I think when you realize. There's only so much time in the day, and you can only give so much to others. And I say, so I can only people so much. I love people, but I can only people so much. And before I need to refill my cup to be able to keep going and do what I do. And sometimes I have obligations and things I'm supposed to go to or be at. And I, it's, there was something this weekend. I, 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 I reached my people capacity. And I was like, <laughs> I wanted to be there, but I, but not being there was where I, what I needed to do. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think just being aware, it's easy to go, for me especially, it's like go, 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 and there's so, there's so, there's always something. And um, it, just realizing in your body and in your soul when you, when you need to step back and, and give back to yourself is the most important thing. Yeah, isolation, um, it's, and I call it an energy budget. Yeah. Okay, this exactly. is how much I, can, I have 
and this is how much I'm gonna spend. Like literally, like I literally in my mind, I have an energy budget. Like okay, I, ha I may have one event of me this week, and I, when I do that, cool. But be intentional. Everything should be intentional. You should you should never be just like constantly doing this, constantly doing. It. If there's no like there's no goal in mind for me, like yeah. I have a whole family, I can be spending that idle time with my my three children. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just it just has to make sense. Where can everybody find you online? I was gonna say real quick. That's why I like this. <laughs> I like the sauna so much because it's a little thing that I get and I zip it up and <laughs> <laughs> bye bye world. Bye bye, bye, -bye world. <laughs> I am I am definitely going to invest in one. I'm going to have to do that. You convinced me. I'm just gonna be a hot girl. I got the hot yoga. I, got I got you, have a hot girl. sauna. I got you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm on Instagram as Dr. Sarah Druckman, the Stress Less Doctor, and. Um, Alpharetta Wellness Collective. So the business, we're pretty active. Everything for the business, we keep on there and there's a little crossover. But Dr. Sarah Druckman and the Stress Thank and you. Alpharetta Wellness Collective. All right, guys. Thank we're you. Out. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. And go over to our YouTube to see more of the Care Girl podcast and experience. Stay well.